Okay. There it is. Alright. Hello to those who are going to watch later. Um, let's see here. First, with this, I just did this for general good use, no matter what or what style you play. It's going to be multiple builds for the two great sword users you see in the back. Zinyan and Beto. And then for anyone else who gets great sword users, like Chun or Razor, or as you can see off to the right, that guy over there with the red hair, don't care. Um, so, weapons, don't worry about weapons right now, just get whatever's best for your play style for the side effects. Now for artifacts, there could be multiple ways for like Beto, like how I have her set up is I want to try and go for just pure attack on these two and then electro damage because of one of her uh, one of her constellations and then this of course you're gonna get attack and HP what I try and do is have elemental mastery in each of them you can have crit rate and crit damage if you want have her in a switch build or whatnot but anyways get to a basic build for her if you want to go for her ult definitely have energy recharge in every single one you can don't worry about anything else and you can just build up for each there just have the base stats you want if you want her as a main do these base stats and have nothing but offensive stats with a little bit of energy recharge once again because her ult's really good and then weapons, it depends on your preference of how you fight. If you want more crit added in, you'll pick one of the claymores or great swords as one that has uh, crit for the substat. And then just make sure it does decent with her, like for passive wise. I'm trying to go with uh, oop, my bad, a two piece and thunders for the bonus electro while having a uh, recharge and attack percentage and HP percentage just for the max amount of damage as I can for a main damage user slash counter user for her and then how I'm running her is I'm trying to just give her whatever but for these two since these two have set for your main stat I do for the low tier because I want to boost her defense I'm making her a power tank so as you can see by her attributes her defense is really high her HP is pretty decent could be higher but pretty decent And then, of course, her shield strength is up there. You see how her crit damage is? I don't care about the crit rate because how I have her built is around this. Uh, no? Oh, it's one of her constellations. My bad. But it makes it to where it crits all the time, her ult crits. So that's what I have built. And then for her, defense, defense, and defense while having at least a defense flat or a defense percentage and then I'll start working from there with crit damage in each of them and energy recharge to pop ult more often and then for weapons you can give her uh, you can give both of them the bell it won't be optimal for um, attack but it'll give her a little bit more survivability and it'll give Beto's shield an upgrade let me go into the archive so it'll be an easier equipment let's see here let's filter it and we go with Claymore 
confirm filter. All right. To me, this is Chung Yun all the way. Don't worry about the five stars. You don't need to worry about the five stars at all. Just don't look at them. Don't like, ooh, I, I want to get that. No, don't. Just go with the four stars. Get what you want and have a good setup with this. Like, this is always one of the best to have for the fact that if it'll oh yeah I would do like the bonus look for the fact is it gives an AOE burst and then it charges up this one's good for defensive people or anybody who builds off of HP so you can give this to Zinyan if you want to give her a little extra shield in between the cooldown of her uh, R2 or I don't know what the key bindings are for computer but her elemental skill. This if you just want to have a good recharge and pop your ult more often. This just pure damage and this for a decent damage output with a little bit of burst added to it. Of course, this one, if you're looking for a, a high risk, high reward style, unless you get multiples because it'll lower the negatives you get from it and raise your positives. But as you can see, I haven't uh, messed with any of these. And once again, really good five, uh, three star to have is this one just because it's a lower tier of this but it still works just as good and it's easier to max out. I've had this it's decent to have it's really good for offensive claymore wielders so go ahead and use this and then these are alright I'm just not really into those but so let's get into like into a bit of combat real quick. Let me find something. Uh, let's go here. And then I can see if my wolf is up or not. And then I can show you at the wolf. So for anyone who enjoys claymores, I uh, I'm a bit of a claymore main myself. So far, apparently, I get claymore lucky and have all the claymore so far. One claymore I hate with a passion, just because everyone loves that claymore <laughs> user and. I don't know what the hype is about it. That's the only reason I hate the Claymore Wielder. But uh... My two favorite, my friends, know, and uh... You're seeing one of them. Is my... I don't see the beam. Looks like it's not here. Sad face. No, it's here. All right. Oh, well, I'm just gonna heal up. Get out of here! I don't care about. And no, I'm not here to like show off. Ah, oh, how how good my builds are compared to everyone else's. That's why I'm better. No, I'm just here to show something decent. Like I have her set up based around her ult, so I'll show you. how it works with her and then I have I have her for support and defense purposes only for this and then him and her are the only ones hmm, who is this sorry not accepting just gonna solo it but uh... it'd be both Beidou and Chongyun are gonna be the ones I'm showing off Zinyan because I have her maxed out 
and her weapon maxed out. I'm not going to show her off as much, I'm just going to use her as a support. Because what's going to be the point in showing you someone who's maxed out versus someone who's at an easy way to get without having to farm for it. So yeah, like, Chongyun, he's not going to have much the damage Beta will once her ult pops. But he's still decent all around damage. And uh, he has this weird blue effect to him right now. Well, well, no. It's coming from the sword, okay. Anyways, let's go. Sorry about that. So, as most of y'all will know, Wolf starts out ice and then adds wind in the second phase. See, some decent hits. Now, with this sword, she's best to use her charge attack. And that thunder is the reason why I have Electro, because every time she takes damage, she'll have it for a few seconds on her weapon, which is added to the damage. Which includes if she takes hit from when she has a shield equipped. Oh, wrong person, I'm sorry. That one was horrible. But yeah. Superconduct, take that. Eyes on me! Ha! Back off! And then more defensive, and now time to show you some Chongyu. Hate the camera for this. Fourth, my play. Spirit play. See how he's immune to all that? That's the crappy part about showing elemental style, which I have him based for his ice. what I love about Beta is the fact that her counter can interrupt her combos. So, people are like, oh, she's not good for DPS. Nah, she's good for survivability if you can time all of her stuff. As you can see, I'm sorry. Like, when it comes to normal enemies, I'm perfect at that time and stuff. When it comes to 
to some of the bosses. I haven't farmed them long enough for any of that. Anyways. Uh, let's get her back up real quick. what I get. Hopefully I get something decent. Oh wait, no I've done the treasure for this week. Well, I'm stupid. Let's do the battle pass. As you can see I haven't purchased it. I will later whenever I get paid. But I haven't purchased it. Pretty much the only money I put into it at all after I've tried to see if like I could pay to get a better chance, but yeah. Nope. Alright, so you've seen hers. Now let's go to like actual. I'm like, there's a big dude always over here. I'll go heal up real quick at one of the statues and then we'll go over there and I'll just be Chung Yun for that whole fight. It'll take a bit but it still does decent damage for how I have built and he doesn't even have, well he might have a legendary at most. That took you forever. Alright. Let me check his stuff. Artifacts. Yeah, he has one legendary. It's not even legendary I use for him. Like, I want to get the full set of the cryo. And I'm making him a damage cryo slash crit. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. Let's go over here. There's usually a big guy. If there's not a big guy this time around, gonna be sad. But yeah, like, uh, I enjoy using this claymore on him. Everyone's will tell you, hey, don't use that. It's worthless on him because the passive, you don't need to worry about the passive. The passive keeps, uh, not like the passive passive, but the, oh, it increases physical bonus damage. Well, with that bonus damage, when he's not having his, oh, excuse me, this active, which as you can see, it's only level two. I've only gotten so far. I haven't even gotten to where that upgrades with this. But uh, the duration's 15 seconds. Well, the last five seconds, even with that last bit of infused frost you'll have still three seconds of non-frost bonus which that physical damage will instead of having completely nothing but the base attack you'll have a little bit of bonus as well which keeps your damage up a little bit more everyone's gonna say it's not gonna be worth it but to me I think it is for the fact is he attacks pretty fast for a claymore user so I can at least get in a two good hit and I like to always use his elemental skill as a combo to start the next combo to make a long chain and then the frost burial whenever I can get more of it I'm gonna refine it to max and keep it on him because he creates cryo it'll do more 
so it does an AoE, and then because of their cryo, it'll go to 240 instead of 95. Every 10 seconds. It's fine. <laughs> Now let's go into this fight. Alright, as you can see, Chang Yun 61. His weapon only 72. Artifacts. You got a 16 because I gave it from someone else, so I've I'm reusing something. You got a uh, a five, a four, a one, and a nine. So only one of them is maxed out, and it's a purple, so it's not going to be much. But it's decent for damage because it has both attack and attack percentage, and it has crit rate. Now if that defense was out of here, and it has crit damage on it, that would have been very helpful. This... I'm good for the crit damage, and the cryo bonus with the both attacks, so it's good this. Wish I had something better, but I can deal with it. Same with this. And same here. Anyways, back to the fight. Sorry about that. Swift and merciful. Spirit flame, attack. Nice try, boy. But as long as you can do proper dodges, you'll be fine. See? Like right there. See that? See those combos right there? They're white. They're not blue or frost blue. They're freaking white. You're not going to constantly have your frost blue up for your bonus cryo. So it's best to work on an all-arounder with elemental types that don't have constant. It's almost constant enough, yes. But the fact that uh, you have to build up for it, and you have that 5 to uh, 4 second window of no frost, with that extra physical, will give you a good decent bonus for overall damage. Sorry. I have a lot of the burps right now, guys. Wow, okay. Stop climbing trees. See, I wish that was one thing they didn't have in here. Was... Oh, you can climb everything just by running into it. After all that Man, this is annoying because of it. Come on, back up here, boy. Don't need you all the ways over there. Let me go uh, give him food. And this is without powered up food. I usually don't use food. Seriously. Like, it, he does decent damage, and even at that low of a level. But the fact is... Where his damage comes from is from the combination of his basic attacks with his skills and ult. And then the passive from his sword, which... I enjoy. His sword's ability is phenomenal. Nice try, boy. Force, my 
And then, as you saw, his skill is wonderful when it comes to comboing for basic attacks. As long as you hit them with it. Fucking dodge. Peeves me off that when I hit buttons, as you can tell in the background, you can hear my constant click. There you go. Yes, I know, it's like, that took forever. Well, he is under level. And the fact that he only died once, and him not wanting to dodge a few times when I told him to dodge, which is the reason why he died, I think he did pretty well. Like, you don't need to level your people up and be, like, god tier. As long as you have a decent setup for them, with your style of play, they're always good. Like, next I'm gonna do, which I'm not even gonna do, like, full setups, I'll show you, uh, bows and the different styles. Like, I don't work on archers much. The only archer I have is, uh, child here. Like, that's the only archer I have that I work on. I have Amber, like everyone else does. I don't have Venti, and I don't have Diona. Like, she never popped up for me. Diona, Diona, however you'd like to call it. I know a friend who does have Venti. He got lucky, and I think he's gonna be a wind animo man. Like, the animo wins. I think he's gonna be a main for that. Which, I'm pretty sure if he, uh, if he tried for it, I'm pretty sure he can get Zhao, because once again, Zhao is a wind. Because <clears throat> right now, he literally has all the wind characters. And I'm rooting for him to get Zhao. Even if he, you know, doesn't like him, I want him to have some form of all collections. Like, I have all claymores, I want him to have all wins, because wind is a pretty decent uh, combo and uh, solo play if you know how to build them. But yeah, um, next up will be, will be archers, but I'll show you how she compares to the others, because she's more fully built. One of her items is perfect, the other four are missing at least uh, three to two. So, my builds aren't the best, but they're decent and they get you Another around. <laughs> and I'm more used to playing with her, so... As you can see, I can combo way better with her. And because she's tanky because her shield, don't worry about the weapon. The weapon... It may be legendary, but it's only there to make her stronger with how I play her. And since it works off a of shield, it's the perfect one and I set her I set it with her. There's no now, instead of giving attack something. percentage and gave her defense, I wouldn't mind having that at all. So you can see that wasn't much damage at all, but if I can get no crit chance and more and more crit damage, then her ult will start to skyrocket. Just attack percentage, defense percentage, recharge, and crit damage are how I build her. Defense for her shield, and of course attack to make it to where she can still be viable in case my main DPS goes off and dies. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I'll show you the quick, uh, like full setup how I have for her. And, uh, where is it? Yeah, so. 
uh, for you, those of you who don't know, it's a bonus of, I do believe, yeah, bonus of three, so she's just level six for that, and that percentage, and, oh, sorry, my bad, and this works out greatly. Everyone's like, don't worry about giving her defense. Well, if you want her to be a damage dealer, like all the other main claymores that people want to do, it's like, oh, claymore has the highest damage and damage staggering, so just make them all power. That's all you gotta do. Make them all power. They're useless if you don't make them all power. Trust me. I've had a lot of one-track minded people talk about them like that, but Xinyan you can build her as a hybrid and she still works wonders just power her up with defensive main stat stuff everyone's gonna tell you don't do that you're just wasting her no trust me just power her up with that make sure you have uh, crit damage for your secondary for her ult or if you don't have her high enough to wear in the constellation uh, let me double check This one right here, yeah, see? If you don't have her at uh, 2, then make sure you have attack percentage in there. And then when you get this, it's only number 2, so if you pull her 3 times, you get it. But yeah, just make sure... See, defense, attack percentage the other defense just to add bonus and the other attack just to add bonus now if that elemental mastery was crit damage wouldn't be perfect be good for her take out that other attack because I'm not trying to make her a heavy damager I'm trying to make her an all-arounder with support style so give her recharge so defense percentage on all of them with attack percentage and then if you can get the third version of her to get tier 2 in your make sure to include crit damage in all of them now I know you won't get them all right away like oh he told me to get this he told me to get that this is what I need right now no just work for the main stats first then work for one slowly farm or farm like hell your choice get a secondary stat it doesn't matter what extras you have, it doesn't matter which one upgrades yet. Then work for the third. And then you can get your fourth substat if you're lucky. But you want to work for at least having two in each. If you can have two in each, that is the decent is what I'm trying to put down. Get your main stats and then work for one or two of your substats that you really want for that build. Don't try and be like, I have to perfect this or anything. No, 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 no. Just make sure your main, one sub to two sub. That's all you have to worry about. If you get frustrated, just think about it's not about to be the best right away. It's not about, oh, I have to catch up. I have to do this. I want to be number one. You can have that mentality set if it helps you, but if it's hindering you, please just relax and play. So, with that, I'm not going to show off my other two claymores because one's a five star, and I told you I'm not doing five stars, and the other one. One of my friends doesn't want to see them because everyone's starting to put high praise on that Claymore user, which it's my favorite Claymore user because you'll know who this is because I'm a big wolf lover. I love wolves. And when I found out that I got this Claymore user and he has a wolf stand, I was super happy. Yes, I called it a stand, you know, like JoJo. But anyways, I was super happy when I got him because I barely get to see anybody wolf or werewolf style. The werewolf style. I don't know. Werewolf style. No. 
Anyways, uh, I barely get to see anybody like that. And it made me happy. Like, you always see vampires, lizards, cats. Hell, you even see some dogs that are the weird little round-eared pup style. You even see more birds than you see wolf stuff, which I'm glad they added something wolf-like. It makes me happy. But anyways, that's my ranting at the end of this one. I'm sorry it took a bit. I'll be outy. You'll have fun. You do you. Now bye.